What's up everybody, Bruno here, and I'm so excited to be talking to you guys uh, here about Big Brother Canada Season 6. I uh, just looked at the cast, the cast looks amazing, and uh, I'm just really, really excited for this season. I haven't been this excited for Big Brother in a long time, and I really hope this season uh, pulls through, and it's because of uh, you know you guys, the fans, that really, really uh, made this season possible. So thank you guys for that. And uh, let's just hope they bring it this year. Uh, there's a lot of potential from what I see. So what I'm going to do here, I just want to break down the cast. I'm going to go uh, player by player and just kind of see what they bring to the table. Um, we'll dissect their um, bios. And again, these are just a uh, minute and a half bios. You don't really get to know these people from these bios. I'll tell you right now, when I was doing my bios, it was very, very awkward. And uh, you just, you don't get the real person. You're in a little room with people you don't know. There's a camera in your face. And if you're not used to that, it can be uh, pretty overwhelming. And you just, you know, maybe sometimes you're just not yourself or you're trying too hard or whatever it is. So you don't really get to see what these people are like until they're actually in the house playing the game. And, uh, you know, then you get to see what they're really about. And again, in these interviews, they can say whatever they want. They can play up their game. They can downplay their game. They can have an idea while they're doing the interview of how they want to play. But once they get in the house and they realize the people they're playing against, maybe they had to adapt to change their strategy. There are so many different ways. Um, and another thing I just want to tell you. I'm not here to uh, crap on anybody or talk crap about their games or their bios or anything like that. That's not what this is about. So if you're looking for that, you can go look for another video. I'm just going to talk about what I see in the videos. Uh, personally, how maybe I think they'll do. Uh, nothing against them. It's just uh, in the situation. I've seen all the different types of players in the house and how they want to play. And maybe I can see or say how I feel that they'll fit into the group or the cast or how their game, how they want to play can fit in. Again, the way they say they want to play and the way they actually play can be two completely different things. So I'm just going by what they say and what everyone else is saying. And uh, let's just have some fun with it. Uh, to all the families out there watching, good luck. Uh, I know how exciting it is for you guys and how nerve wracking it can be. You probably won't get much sleep for the next three months, but it's a lot of fun. If you have any questions or anything, you come message me directly, come talk to me, my wife, we're all here for you guys. Uh, that being said, let's get to it. All right, so the first person we're going to talk about today is Olivia. She's 21 years old from Guelph, Ontario. She's a big fan of the show. Um, she wants to push herself to try new things. Uh, she doesn't want to play dirty. Uh, she's a neat freak, a type A, a straight shooter. Uh, doesn't like loud people or people that need to be the center of attention. And um, she wants to be in the alliance with people with different qualities than her. Okay, so there's some things I see that are positive here. And there's some things I see that probably won't work, uh, that'll work against her. Um, the fact that she wants to be in an alliance with people that have different qualities than her is perfect. That's what you want to do. So if you're a competition player, you want to get with someone that maybe has a lot of friends in the house that's very social and likable because maybe that's not your strong point. Maybe all you can do is go in there and win competitions, but that's all you have and you don't have a very good social game or you're awkward or whatever it is, um, which is a good, that's very good for her. But what I'm, when, what I'm seeing here where she's saying um, she, you know, doesn't want to play dirty. Uh, she's a straight shooter. Things like that can actually work against you in the house. Um, you got to play dirty. This is big brother guys, you know, and there's things you're going to have to do to get the job done. These people aren't your friends. Um, and I know when you're in there, you can kind of lose track of that and kind of think, oh, these are going to be all my friends when we get out. In reality, no, they're not your friends. You're in there to do a job. Be dirty. Do what you have to do. Say what you have to say. For myself, uh, I didn't want to get too far. There's a line I didn't want to cross because I do have uh, young kids and a wife and I didn't want to say certain things or do certain things that maybe would affect them on the outside world. So for me, I did have a line I wasn't willing to cross. But from what I'm reading here, she doesn't want to play dirty. That you kind of have to do. Um, but she does have the right idea with getting uh, in an alliance with people with different qualities. Uh, that is, um, that's a good thing. So let's see how she plays out. Uh, she seems like a great person and, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing her play. Hopefully she can do well. And I hope when she gets in there, she can kind of change her views and think and remind herself that, Hey, I am here to do a job. I need to play dirty. I got to get my hands dirty and it's time to get dirty. So I hope she does that when she gets in there. All right, next we're going to go with William. He's 25 years old from Newfoundland. He wants to bring the title back to Newfoundland, he says, and he wants to be someone who gets along with everyone and he doesn't want to be a floater. 
Okay. Wants to win a lot of competitions. And he's not looking for a showman, but he, he will do one if he needs to. And, uh, okay, so that being that, okay. So I like the guy's personality. I think, uh, and I think other people will too. The guy seems very fun, friendly, and like a people person. I think people will gravitate towards him. Uh, he just kind of has that aura, uh, from what I can see in that bio video, that, you know, he's going to have a lot of friends in there. People are going to want to work with him. They're going to find him funny, easy to be around, and that's key. You want to be easy to be around in the house. Uh, if people can't put up with you or don't like your personality or just the vibes you're bringing out, they're going to want to get rid of you. That's just the way it is. People don't want to live with people, you know, for 30 days or 60 days or 80 days, whatever it is, if they can't put up with you. Uh, this guy seems like he's um, easy enough to get along with. And um, I think he's going to do okay. I just hope he doesn't beast out too much in the competitions that does put a target on him because he's saying he wants to win a lot of competitions and all that stuff, which is fine. It's something you can do and it works. But if you start winning too much and people start, uh, you know, kind of noticing that uh, and they can't beat you, they feel like they can't beat you, they're going to want to take that shot at you in a week where you can't play. So uh, I think he'll do okay. Like I said, I think he's very friendly. People are going to like him, his personality and all that. It all depends on how hard he plays. If he can play hard enough where he won't make too many enemies, but and at the same time make a lot of friends, he's going to do very, very well. He just needs to find that happy medium and that balance. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing this guy play. I think he's going to do okay. So the next guy I want to talk about is Andrew. He's 36 years old from Toronto, Ontario, and he wants to be the funny guy, he says. Um, he wants to be good TV and entertaining. He's a trash talker, and his strategy is that he's going to be himself. And he also says he's going to win. Okay, so about this guy. I like him. I think he has a good personality. He's going to be easy to get along with. I, I find there's a trend uh, this season that everyone's kind of easy to get along with. They look pretty easy going, uh, at least in their bios. Everyone wants to be funny, have a good time, and that's good. Um, the thing with him wanting to be good TV and entertaining, that's the part where it might screw him in the end. You know, the reality of it is, is Big Brother, when you're trying to play to the audience, sometimes it works and it works well. But the problem is, is, you know, you want to focus on what's in the house. Uh, certain players like myself, I really didn't care about bringing good entertainment or good TV because I was focusing on the players in the house. Those were the players to me that were important. Those were the people at the time that were most important to me. And personally, and it's nothing against Canada, I didn't care what the audience thought because they weren't going to make me win. I had to convince the people in the house to keep me in the house and in the end to vote for me to win. So when you're when people go in to purposely try to make good TV I feel like they're just going to try too hard to focus on the outside rather than focus on the inside. You really need to have all your attention focused in the house on every single player in there because if you look away for a second, it's that split second where you lose the focus that they can come and congregate against you. And it's just the way it is. So for me personally, I don't like the idea of entertaining the crowd rather than the players, but it has worked in the past and it's, it's not a bad thing, I guess, if you can find that balance and make it work. Uh, but the guy seems really funny. He seems like he's really easy to get along with. I'm actually really looking forward to meeting him at the end because he's someone I feel like I'd be, uh, I get along with really well. So, um, I think he'll get along with people in the house. Again, it all comes down to how far he's taking this good TV and entertaining self. Um, will it go well with other people in the house? Who knows? But I think he's going to do okay. Okay, the next person we're going to talk about is Erica, 23 from Toronto. Um, she says she has a lot of charm, people skills, and her overall attitude is going to be what uh, sets her apart from everybody else. Uh, her social game is her strong suit, followed by in intellect, which is very important. Social game is everything in that house. It's very, very, very important to have a strong social game, and she seems like she has it. So uh, I'll give her that. Uh, she says people like her. She wants to be social and charming and lay low at the beginning. The first half she will lay low, then wants to make moves. She doesn't like obnoxious or loud, annoying people. Okay, so there's a few problems here in, in what I see. Um, you know, I do see that she, she seems very likable. Uh, her social game, I bet you she's going to do very, very well. The whole laying low uh, for the first half and all that stuff... It sounds great on paper. Everybody says that it's the right answer. That's what everybody wants to do. 
But she also says she doesn't like loud, annoying, obnoxious people. You know you're going in the Big Brother house. They're for sure going to throw in one, two, maybe three people that are loud, annoying, and obnoxious. And they're going to throw you off your game. If it's people you don't like and get along with, it's going to be hard to kind of be bubbly and social and funny and all that stuff. Uh, the other part, um, I see that there might be a problem. I just, I see her as a floater. I hope I'm wrong because I really, really, really... Um, I like her. I actually, she's one of the people I really want to see do well. And um, I just, I see her floating and just not getting that chance to make the move. She says she wants to float for the first half and then start playing. Well, the problem is, is some people float for the first half or stay under the radar for the first half and then they're booted and they never have that chance to kind of gear up and play. And it's a big regret that a lot of people have. And I feel like when people get into that easy mode of just floating and, uh, you know, not doing anything for the first half, it's just easy to keep on that pace and just not doing anything and letting everybody else get in each other's way and knock each other out while you're just kind of coasting along. And in the end, when you need a resume in the final two, it's kind of hard to build one when everyone just says, well, what did you do? And if you say, well, I just laid low for the whole season, eh, people don't really tend to respect that. And again, I'm not trashing on anything. Um, it's a good strategy. I just think, uh, I just, I don't know if I can, just from what I see in her one and a half minute bio, I, I just see her getting along with everybody, not having problems with anybody, but I also see her not really doing much. And I could be way wrong, and I hope I am because I actually have a, a, a lot of, uh, I see there's a lot of potential in her. I think she could be a really, really good player. So again, it's what I see in a minute and a half video. That's just the vibe I get. Also, by seeing the other cast in there and the other people, I do see loud people, obnoxious people in there. And just, I don't know how she's going to play off that. But um, the answers are right. I mean, what she's saying is right on paper, and I really, really hope she does well. She's one of the people I want to see do very well this season. So good luck to her, but uh, we'll see how it plays out. Okay, so now we're on to Johnny. He's 28 years old from Vancouver, and he's a big fan of the show. Uh, he studied the game a lot in all of the competitions, which is huge. It's very, very important. Um, and says he knows he has to adapt. Uh, but here's the thing is he wants drama. See, he has all the right answers at first until he says he wants drama. You know, it just... You're here to win the game. You're here to win the money. You're here to win the prize. If you go in there purposely wanting to start drama, you're going to be a boot. And I really wanted to like this guy. And I'm not saying I don't. I do like the guy. I really wanted to. He had all the right answers until I heard him say he wants to cause the drama and he loves the drama, this and that. And I think that's going to be his downfall because he has the right answers. He understands the game. He gets it. He studied all the competitions. He knows all the type of competitions that we've had in the past. That's very important because Big Brother tends to recycle competitions one way or another. It might not be the exact same competition, the name, the theme, but the concept of the game is usually the same. And the both times I played, uh, you know, you notice that, right? You're playing the same type of game. You just put a different uh, skin on it and call it a different name and it's a completely different competition. But in reality, they're pretty much the same game. So he gets it. And that's what I liked about him is he gets it. Uh, he says he knows he has to adapt. But I think a lot of people are saying that now because they, they understand that. Um, I really wanted him to do well. The sad thing is I think he probably will be an early boot. I think he's going to be a very early boot. Just the fact that he wants the drama. When you go looking for trouble, you're going to get trouble. And, you know, if you're looking for drama, you're going to be looking at Arissa come eviction night. That's the way I see it. So, again, I could be very wrong. Um, but, yeah, just... I liked everything he was saying until he got to the drama part and said he really liked it. And that's just, it's a shame. And I hope, I hope he does well, but it's a shame when, um, when he wants to cause the drama because, you know, players that they want to position themselves right, they don't want to ruffle too many feathers because, you know, the more feathers you ruffle, the more people that are coming for you. And it's just easier to make you a target and to get people to congregate against you uh, when you're public enemy number one or if you're annoying people too much. It's just easy to get people together to say, hey, we got to get this guy out. So uh, I hope he does well. Uh, but uh, like I say, he has the right answers, just the drama part, eh, kind of... That kind of puts the nail in it for me. But uh, let's wait and see. Again, it's a one and a half minute video. I could be way wrong. Uh, this guy could be, you know, the next best thing to ever play. So who knows? But uh, only time will tell. And we'll find out real soon. Okay, now we're on to Jesse. 24 years old from Saskatoon. He's a big fan of the show. And he wants to be super likable. And he wants to get into alliances. He's charismatic. And uh, he's going to do well in comps. 
Uh, he wants to get in a big alliance. He wants to make big moves. Um, hey, and Bruno is his favorite player. Yours truly. Look at that. Um, his downfall is, it, downfall is he says he's not patient. Okay, you know what? This guy on paper, you know what? He sounds really, really good. And he's actually one of the people I pick to go very far. I really hope he does well. He seems very likable. He's got like the, his smile, his laugh. I think people are going to, it's just inviting. And I think uh, the girls are going to like him. And I think he's going to be easy to get along with with the guys. I think he's going to click very well. Uh, he's got the right idea. He wants to be in a big alliance. Now, big alliances always crumble. They always will. They always have. And they always will. But at first, you need to get in that majority alliance. It's very crucial because if you're in a majority alliance, you know, you control the numbers. And there's a lot of people you can trust to win HOH at the beginning of the season. It's very, very, very important to be on the right side of the numbers early on in the game. Um, and I think he has the right idea. And he is a fan of the show, so he gets how to play and all that stuff. And he wants to make big moves. Now, here's the thing. And, and a lot of people get the wrong idea about big moves. They think big moves is like uh, getting out a certain player or, you know, like using a, a veto on Zach or uh, Cindy flipping the, you know, doing the, the JP vote, all that stuff. Yes, they're big moves, but big moves could be a conversation. A conversation I have with someone that literally flips the game, but people don't see it or know about it, or maybe doesn't even make TV. Those are also big moves, but they don't come across well on the screen, so they don't get airtime. So people get the wrong idea when they say big moves, and I hope that's not his downfall. I hope he doesn't go in there wanting to make a big move that just cuts his game short, because some people get the wrong idea about that. But on paper, this guy looks really, really good. I think he's going to fit in very well with the cast. And, uh, you know, he does have good taste in players. So, uh, you know, uh, I do like this guy. And he's actually the guy I want to see uh, go very, very, very far. And uh, I, like I say, I just he's very likable. And I can't wait to talk to him after, meet him. And uh, he's doing. I think he's going to do very, very well. So that's my pick to go very far, if not win the show, is Jesse. That's my guy. Okay, on to Paris. She's 23 from Vancouver. Uh, she says she's doing a lot of prep puzzles, uh, memory stuff, all that stuff for the show she's been prepping for, which is very, very important. She's gonna hide how smart she is. That's very good. Uh, but she also says she may overplay and she wants no showmances. So I like her. I think she's gonna do very well. She seems to understand the game. Um, I like the fact that she's against showmances. Um, that means her mind's in the right spot. I like that. Uh, the fact that she's doing a lot of prep very important. She gets it. She's doing the memory puzzle, uh, the puzzles, the memory st stuff, all the all the stuff that she's like practicing, memorizing, uh, exercising her brain, getting into that big brother mode because a lot of competitions are memory based, puzzle based, things like that. That's very, very important. Uh, so she gets it and she studied for it. Uh, she's going to hide how smart she is. That's very, very important. Hopefully nobody uh, catches on. Uh, but if she can hide it well, I think she's going to do well. She seems very likable. And uh, I think she's going to do very, very, very well this season. I think she's going to be, uh, she's for sure, I think she's going to make jury. Uh, that's my guess. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how she does. And uh, very, very smart player. And I like, uh, I don't know, I just liked her, her bio. It seemed, uh, seems like she knows what she's doing and her head's in the right spot for sure. Okay, so next is Derek. He's 27 years old from Vancouver. He says he's seen episodes here and there, which actually isn't a bad thing. Uh, he wants to do well in comps. He doesn't like to hurt feelings and wants to be a shadow on the wall. Okay, so here's the thing with Derek, okay? Uh, he says he's seen episodes here and there, which actually isn't a bad thing. That can actually kind of work uh, to his advantage because a lot of people think, you know, super fans are the way to go. They know the game in and out. In reality, uh, not knowing a lot about the show, being green to the whole thing can work to your advantage because you don't know what to expect. Uh, you're not overthinking everything. Uh, where super fans, you know, they feel like they know this game in and out, that this is going to happen next, or this has to happen, or they just kind of like, you know, oh, I'm in the big brother house, and they just kind of like get caught up in the moment, where someone that doesn't really know the show, they don't know what's coming next, they don't realize what's going on, which actually isn't a bad thing, so that could be an advantage for him, wanting to win, wanting to do well in comps, now, if he means he wants to go in and win every comp, that could not necessarily be a good thing. But uh, if he wants to just go in and win here and there, 
that could help. Doesn't want to hurt feelings and wants to be a shadow on the wall. Okay, so this is big brother. I get it. You know, people, you know, some people want to go in and just, you know, they don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, which is great. And that's, that's fine. This is big brother. You know, you're in there to do a job. And, uh, you know, you're there. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Some people get to play twice, but it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and uh, do the job. You know what I mean? You got to do what you got to do. Uh, to be the shadow on the wall, to me, I think what he's trying to say is he just wants to be a floater. At the same time, he says he wants to do well in comps, but he wants to be a floater. That's the vibe I'm getting from him. Um, I hope I'm wrong. I just, uh, I, I don't know. I just, uh, I don't think he's going to do too, too well. But uh, who knows? Again, it's a minute and a half video. He seems like a good guy. I just, uh, just the way he was talking was just contradicting himself, saying he wants to win comps, but he just doesn't want to be, he wants to be, a, he wants to be a floater. So uh, who knows which path he's going to go again. The bios is only a, one, a minute and a half. Um, you know, you're kind of just saying things as they're talking to you. So we won't see how they're going to play until they get in the house. So I want to see him play before I can really make a judgment. But um, the, the initial vibe I got was he's probably going to be a floater. Okay, next is Rosina49 from Toronto. She is a breast cancer survivor. Says she's the one that everybody will remember. She's a firecracker. She says she needs a good alliance. Okay, uh, she seems so sweet. Um, I actually, uh, I like Rosina. She seems very sweet. I just don't think she realizes what she's getting herself into. Um, I don't think she realizes what she's getting herself into is what I'm going to say. So um, she'll probably, you know, and, and it's sad to say, and it, and it is true. And it usually happens where, you know, the older lady or man uh, is the first boot. And I kind of feel with this group, I hope she can find a spot to kind of fit in. And hopefully someone can be loud enough in the first week and, and ruffle enough feathers in the first week that she can kind of, you know, have a spot in the house. Uh, because if not, I, I do have a feeling she will be the first to boot. Um, you know, she seems very sweet and, but the thing is she says, she's going to be the one that everyone remembers. Um, you know, what is she going to do? I don't know. Is she, she, she doesn't talk about much strategy. She doesn't talk about, you know, um, she just basically says, I'm a firecracker. I want a good alliance, which sounds good. You know, that if she can fit in an alliance, um, she can do very well. And the thing with a player, um, like Rosina, usually the older player, uh, you know, I was actually the older player in my season, so I know what it's like. And I almost got voted out first day on season three. It's just the way it is. The older players usually get voted out first. It's just the game because a lot of players are usually in their 20s and they can, they just, they're more, you know, they can relate to each other a little bit more. That's just the way it is. But at the same time, when the older player can pass week one, week two, even week three, they have a very good chance of going all the way to the end because that's when all the drama starts boiling. You know, week one, everyone's friends, everyone gets along. It's a funny, fun time. Everyone's great. Everyone loves everybody. Week two, okay, people are starting to get on people's nerves. Week three is usually when people just hit their boiling point and it's like, okay, hey, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. This person's going after this person. And usually the older player can literally fall back into the shadows and be forgotten while everyone else kind of battles it out. And, um, so I think she's going to be first boot or she's going very, very, very far into the game. Um, again, I don't really know what her style is like. She doesn't really talk about her strategy or her style too much. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. So uh, again, I'm going to say first boot or she's going very, very far. Uh, maybe everyone will even want to take her to final two. We might think she's an easy beat. Who knows? Uh, only time will tell. Okay, next I have Alejandra. Uh, she's 30 years old from Vancouver. She's a huge fan of the show. She's not trying to be anybody but her lovable self. She's sassy, crazy, and she's a sassy, crazy Latina. Her strategy is being adaptable. She wants to play a strong social game and have genuine relationships. And she wants to play under the radar and she's very athletic. Um, okay. I actually really like Alejandra. I think she's going to do super well if she can just find her spot in the house. If she can just connect with the right people. I think she has the tools to go very, very, very far. I think she's going to be a very good player. Uh, again, off this one and a half minute bio. Uh, she has all the right answers, you know. Um, she's athletic. She wants to be under the radar. Uh, she wants to play a strong social game. Those are the right answers. Uh, I also like how she's saying she doesn't want to be anybody but herself. That is key. Because when people try to emulate a certain player, if it's whoever it is, their favorite player, 
Uh, you can't because it's not you. Just be you. Go in there, use your instincts and be you. It's, it comes across more genuine and people will connect with you more. If you're trying to act like somebody else, you're going to come across as fake. And that's, you know, and people don't like that. When people start thinking, oh, that person's fake, they're going to stop trusting you and all that stuff. So I, she has the right answers. I kind of like, uh, I kind of like Alejandra and I, I, she's definitely one of my top picks to do very, very well. And I hope she goes far in this game. Um, and I, I'm actually really looking forward to seeing her play. I think she's going to do very, very well. So Alejandra is one of my picks uh, to win for sure. Okay, so next is Hamza. 27 years old from Thunder Bay. He wants to go in guns blazing and says everyone will turn against him and see how it plays out. He's a sore loser and he wants to mess with people's food. And he doesn't believe in alliances. He wants to be a lone wolf and he's going to win every challenge. Okay. So I'm going to give this guy a zero out of five. Um, sorry, I'm just not feeling the guy. Nothing against him. Just this is what he's saying he wants to do. And as a big brother game perspective, I just give him a big zero. Because you just can't go in like that. Uh, you can't. To, in my mind, the way I see this guy is he wants to be Dr. Will. He wants to go in like a Dr. Will and 